We had to get an electric fence because Samson kept jumping over the fence, and the hours spent chasing him were impossible. Oh, electric fence, show me. I hate those fences. They can cause damage to the heart and lungs, seizures, severe psychological damage, and it's no way 100% effective in keeping a dog in a yard. Where have you got the electric fence? It's, it's wired throughout, and this dog would jump the fence seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. And then it would take me two or three hours per time to get him home. And we put it in, and he still would jump. So eventually, we had to turn it up high. Unfortunately, I, I remember the squeal that came out of him, and I felt awful, but there's not, you can't take that back. And now he doesn't go anywhere near the fence. Samson is scared of being out in the yard now. Well, hello. Wouldn't you be if you knew each time you're going out in the yard you could get a shock? I'm not going to pretend that I like the electric fence. I know. I might not be able to give Samson what he needs. And if I can't, I do want to know that. I didn't know Victoria, and I didn't know what else to do. Right. It's unfair and unkind to keep the dog in the house all day. And the poor dog can't even go out in the backyard. I mean, what's this dog going to do? I can't do anything with the behavior unless this dog gets exercise. Nothing. So Victoria's first step, no more shocks for Samson. Formerly, the backyard has been a scary place for Samson because of the electric fence and the trauma that he had when it was turned up high to stop him from jumping over. He now doesn't have pleasure out there. And I want to teach him, you know, the backyard's OK. So I've taken his collar off. With the collar removed, the electric fence is no longer effective. Now, the best thing for you to do would be to lose the electric fence and heighten the fences that you have. Until then, he needs to be on a long leash out there. Okay. Well, let's see it. Let's go out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Samson has to get exercise daily. And with Debbie's medical problems, it would be nice if it could be in the backyard. OK, so now. Let's sit on the bottom of the steps. Look what I've got. Look what I've got. See, he's not, he's not keen on being out in the yard. This is not fun for him. Victoria entices Samson with a toy filled with tasty peanut butter. Oh, what's that? Where did it go? Oh, is it very good? There's peanut butter in there. Oh, peanut you love peanut butter. butter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Let's go out here. Go on, sweet. Come on, buddy. Good boy. All right. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. Go, go get it. Go get it. Oh, look at that. He's a little bit stressed. Let him explore. Everybody come down here with me. We're just going to hang. We're just sort of talk and just sit here. There are stages to this. You go out, you sit on the deck. He comes out with you, what a good boy. And he gets lovely stuff. And then you slowly, gradually move down to the bottom of the yard. Now, we're at the point which is too stressful for him. He wanted to go back in, and I didn't want to give him a bad time, so I just let him go. I let him cope. It has to become an emotionally great place before it becomes an exercise place. When I'm away, Try just hanging out in the middle of the yard with him on the long line. Should we go back in? Yeah. 